In 1970s, there are too many psychotherapies. Time magazine reported 200 therapies. All developers claim high success rate, so the situation is chaotic. Here, Dr. Prochesa comes in. To solve the confusing situation, Dr. conducts comparative analysis of 18 prominent psychotherapies, including psychoanalysis proposed by Sigmund Freud, behavioral therapy based on Skinner's psychology, cognitive therapy developed by Aaron Beck, and person-centered approach. Dr. Prochaska seeks common elements among therapies by focusing on relationship between patients and therapists. Dr. finds some effective factors for behavioral change. Conscious raising, which is consistent with psychoanalysis and cognitive therapy, is defined finding and learning new facts, ideas, and tips that support the healthy behavior change. Dramatic relief manifests Freudian traditions that believes evoking of unacceptable emotions such as anger and anxiety is the best means of providing personal relief. Reinforce management comes from Skinner's tradition, which emphasizes the importance of reward to change behavior. Helping relationships, seeking and using social support for the healthy behavior change, which is one aspect of human-centered therapy. Dr. also classified these factors into verbal processes and behavioral processes. This is the process of change. Then, Dr. Prochester conducts research about smoking quit behavioral change. Based on the research, Dr. finds smokers go through three stages, decision stage, active change, and maintenance stage. In addition, verbal processes are very important during decision stage whereas behavioral processes are most important after individuals make the decision. Now, these stages evolve into the familiar six stages. This is the trans model. 